In a, in a lot of ways, I feel different. Um, I think I, I've obviously learned a lot, um, but but through that, I've I've gotten more confidence in myself and and just the confidence at knowing that I can be there um, with, with some of the best riders um, a lot of the times. So that's that's something I never really envisioned when I started. Um, and yeah, I'm still figuring things out, figuring what what uh, kind of rider I am. But but for me, it's also exciting because I never had any predisposed idea of yeah, at least when I started my career of what I wanted to do in the sport. And uh, yeah, it's it's nice to still be figuring that out. But but yeah, I've definitely uh, well, matured a lot along the way. Obviously, I, I like the the Grand Tours, but um, yeah, if, if I'm realistic, I still have a lot to work on to be able to contend for the the grand tours so um yeah it's i think step by step uh see how things go in week-long races um and yeah also see if if i enjoy that uh that kind of mindset um or pressure if you will uh in in those races so um yeah i think it's it's just a matter of, of figuring figuring that out and taking the time to do it. Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter as long as I have the opportunity to, to at least try and then, uh, yeah, you can do it in a, a calm way. Hopefully Volta Catalunya. Um, it's a pretty good race for me. A lot of, um, a lot of climbs at uh, altitude and, um, yeah, there, there's a time trial in there as well, but I've uh, been working on that in the winter, so. Hope to improve a bit there. Yeah, I think the the tour and the and the Vuelta after. So, um, but but for for myself, the the Vuelta is a race that I'm really looking forward to. It's a race that suits me and a race that I actually really enjoy. It, with it being that late in the season, we'll we'll see what uh, you know. There can always be changes in the roster. You know, see how I come out of the tour and everything. But um, yeah, it's it's something that's uh, an objective that that's exciting. Um, to have